Hello, my name is Tim Geher and I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to learn how to replace a constant level device from the Fivestream 3 8 liter per hour system. Now we're going to remove the door from the 8 liter per hour Fivestream 3 system. The Fivestream 3 4 liter per hour system, single distilled, has the same type of door, it's just a little smaller. So you're just basically going to lift up, pull out on the bottom, pull the top down, and you remove the door. Set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the top cover. Top cover for the 8 liter, 4 liter by distiller, same size. The top cover for the 4 liter by stream 3 is just a little smaller, but it still has the same two blanking plugs that you're going to remove from the top. A Phillips head screwdriver, two Phillips head screws. Just going to go ahead and remove the screws from the front. And once those are loose, Pop the front up, and then the back are just two bolts that are elongated in elongated holes. Just slide it ahead until you find the opening, and then pop the top cover off and remove it. Set that aside. Now that we have the top cover removed and the door, and for demonstration purposes today, I've removed the right side boiler condenser and constant level device so it's out of our way and makes it easier to see this. The constant level device, first thing we're going to do to remove is the thermistor that's in this rubber port and the glass thermistor just simply you slide it back and you kind of give it like a circular motion to break the suction away from the rubber tube and then pull that console or the thermistor out set it aside the boot you just squeeze the boot together pull that back remove that set that aside because you're going to reuse that next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the drain tube and the drain tube here so we can pull the tubing off and then pull the constant level device out. Now to remove the drain tube, a lot of times this is going to be adhered to the glass so you're going to need to cut it lengthways. Cut the tube just to the bottom of the glass. Then you can peel the tubing around. Remove it from the constant level device. Same with this drain tube. Once that's removed, we can take the constant level device and slide it down off the silicone sleeve. Sometimes you won't be able to do that. You might have to cut the sleeve lengthways, but slide that down. Now that we have the old constant level device off, we're going to take the new sleeve, which the constant level device will come with the new sleeve, slide it up onto the condenser, take your new constant level device, slide that into place, leave yourself about a sixteenth of an inch gap between the two glass pieces right here. Now that we have the constant level device back onto the condenser, we're going to reattach our tubing. Sometimes you can use a little bit of water to make this a little easier to slide that tube up inside. All right, then then our bottom drain, put a little water on the connector, slide our tube. Right up in place. The last piece to install on the constant level device is the thermistor. This is the thermistor plug. Put that in empty. Take your thermistor. You can put a little bit of water on the thermistor to make that easier to slide inside. You slide that in so that it protrudes inside and it can sense the water level. Your constant level device is now installed. Now that you completed the component replacement on the 5 Stream 3 system, we're going to put the top cover back on. Again, it has the two screws in the front, and then we've got our two bolts in the back that slide into the elongated holes in the back. So first you want to locate those. Once you've located those, you just slide it back until the front matches. Taking your Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to tighten one side down. Once they're tight, put your blanking plugs back in. 
grab your door cover. You always want to operate the system with the door in place. Simply locate the slots in the front, then slide it down into the slots in the bottom. And your door's in place. You've completed your installation. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.